Hey everybody, this is Melissa. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm in Word and I want to show you how to create a table of contents. And what I want to do is show you how to format your document so that you can use Word's built-in one-click insert a table of contents. So what I have here is a Word document called Video, Audio, Gaming, and Software. And the first thing that we need to make sure that we have within our Word document for our table of contents to work is headers. So we can have heading 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so on and so on, depending on what you have within your Word document. So the first thing I did is I told Word to treat this as a title because I don't want it to show up in my table of contents. So I have headers one, two, and three within this document. My header one is video, audio, gaming, and software. And then underneath each one of those, I have header two, basics, production, audio has streaming and recording, and there are several others under software and gaming. Under video, I put a header three so that you can see what it looks like when we put it into a table of contents. So one of the things I want you to notice is your header one is a rather large font. Your header two is a smaller font and header three is a little bit smaller. And that's going to happen each time that you pick another header, four, five, six, seven, it's going to get a little bit smaller. You can format those headers independently, but I tend to just take what Word does and use those. So now that we've got our document formatted, we're going to go to References, Table of Contents, and now we can just pick an automatic table. And it has inserted a clickable table of contents. So if someone's in this Word document, and they want to see how to choose the right software program, they can go there, they can control click, and it's going to take them to that part of the document so they can see that. Now, we can go in to our table of contents if we want to, and we can format it. We can bold it, we can change the font style, we can change the font size, we can change the color, but I tend to leave that alone once the table is inserted. So another thing I want you to notice is your header one is the furthest out to the left. Header two is indented just a little bit. And then header three is indented a little bit more. And you'll see the same thing if you have headers four, five, and so on. And this really shows the hierarchy of your document. So another thing that we can do is if we export this document to a PDF, our clickable table of contents is going to follow. And how we would do that is go to File, Export, and Create PDF XPS Document. And once we've done that, this is what it's going to look like. And if they go to the table of contents and they click on Recording, it's going to take them down to Recording. If they click on how to choose a software program, it's going to take them there to that. And that is how you create a table of contents within Word and then save it as a PDF so that your clickable table of contents moves over. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to like it, subscribe to my channel, and get notified. And I'll be back tomorrow with another tutorial. Thanks so much for watching.